Another Saturday morning, another sweet score from the dump. There's a uh, Husky power washer, 2600 PSI, 2.3 GPM. Uh, it's uh, got a Honda motor on it with um, unknown horsepower, but I know the uh, GCV160 is, I think, five and a half or six or somewhere around there. So uh, some guy in a uh, like brand new Lincoln SUV threw this out. He even threw out the box with it. <laughs> um, so anyway, first thing we notice, of course, is that there's some oil on the plate here. And also, I took off the diff stick just to see what was in there. And, uh, yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Nope. I don't know what the heck happened there, but the engine does, um, you know, still move. It does still pull over, so I think probably try and check this out, see what the heck's up with it, change the oil, and see if maybe this thing works. I'm wondering, let me see, does it smell like anything? Man, yeah, it's sure is gross. It looks like the craft came out of the Riviera when it's head gasket, it's uh, intake gasket one. So is this like water in the oil or something? But how the heck, how the heck would that happen? I mean... I don't see how. Yeah power washer pump is separate from the rest of the machine. <laughs> yeah, there's no way it could the pump could get in there. That's a pump and barber ball up there. Yeah, okay. So here's the oil that came out of there. Definitely coffee colored and extremely disgusting. It looks to me like water in the oil. How that happened? I have no clue. Anyway, change the oil. Check to see the gas is okay and everything, so got some water hooked up to it. See if this thing will uh, do anything as far as uh, do some power washing here. Let's switch is on, fuel line is open, choke is pulled. <laughs> I don't really feel like there's any compression. <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> yeah, that would be one. It's not broken. It's a slipped off timing belt because this is an overhead cam engine. Unlike any of these vehicles out here. <laughs> um, but. Oh, yeah, you're wrong. Sebring. Oh, oh the Sebring's, yeah, okay. Yeah. One vehicle. Um, anyway, now why it slipped off, that, uh, that is the question. Could it have something to do with this murky, coffee colored? "Quote unquote oil." Uh, possibly that caused it to slip off, or did it slip off and then somehow I don't even know what was in that oil. That's that's the problem. I changed the oil in it. Um, and then we, you know, verified. Okay, it's you know, it pulled over kind of easy, but we knew the piston was moving. That's when we suspected a timing problem. And we'll be in an overhead cam engine. First place we checked was this, and of course, there's your problem. Now. It's easy, so we've read, to uh, align this properly. We line the uh, crankshaft, turn the crankshaft groove so that it's pointing straight up. Straight up towards this pin here. Yep. And then... Um, On the cam, there's this mark here, uh -huh. this mark here. You get those level with the surface here on the head. Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. And that then, and that level. And then you just slip the belt on. Oh, that's pretty easy. Is this the first time you've had to work on one of these overhead cam small engines? Yep. Yeah, me Last too. time I opened one had a snap belt, but it was under warranty and they wanted to... Oh, uh, that leaf blower? Yeah. All right, so now... Slip it back on like that. Yep. It moved a little. A little off now. Jump one tooth. Hmm. That's pretty simple, huh? Yep. There you go. That looks good. Over a few times. I just don't know why it has that, like, butterscotch oil. Oh, yeah. Now we've got real compression. Yeah, that sounds right. Before, it just... 
I'm like, I hear something moving. I hear air going, sucking through it, but obviously uh, the valves weren't doing jack. Well, now, I'd still like to know what's up with that oil, though. That oil looks exactly like it has water in it. It doesn't smell like I gas. I don't see how water can get into an engine like this. If the carburetor flooded, it would just leak out the air cleaner like they always yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't look like it was dumped in a lake or something. No, it was... Yeah. <laughs> in very good shape, so... Unless... Unless I maybe don't... when the belt slipped off the can, the exhaust valve was pushed open. It was like laying like this. Oh, and water got in there. Water dumped in there. Yeah, that's, that's probable. I, I can't really figure too many scenarios of how water got in there. So this power washer is all ready to test. We uh, put the timing belt back on and filled it up with actual real oil. I'm still trying to figure out a plausible scenario as to how water got in that oil because it was definitely water. Just just racking my brain trying to think of how it is even possible that it could have accidentally got in there. So, without further ado, we will now see if this thing runs. interchangeable nozzles instead of one adjustable nozzle. Alright, here's another uh, Honda powered thing that we got from the side of the road on Saturday night. The handlebars have snapped off. Other than that, it seems to work okay, but it's, it's dirty, so let's, let's clean it up. Okay, so we got some kind of red soap in here. <clears throat> Probably that stuff you used to clean your decks or vinyl siding or whatever, but... Or transmission fluids. That's what it looks like when we spilled it. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, so I'm going to see if we can fit. I'm not quite sure how this works because it's not an adjustable tip, but I'm going to guess that you uh, remove the nozzle. Push the... It's like a compressor. Push the brass part down. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm going to guess that maybe for soap you just remove the nozzle completely. Uh, although there is a zero degree tip that's missing, so. That's usually full power, but there's one here that's not labeled. Oh. That's missing. That one might have been for soap. soap. Yeah, well, let's see that. Because on all the ones I use, you know, you adjust the. You tip. pull the thing out or yeah. push it in.
So, seems to work pretty well. You yep. know, even though soap did come out without the tip on, there was a crap load of soap coming out at once. I think that um, it's this probably, probably restricting. Supposed to be some, yeah, probably like you said, the one that's missing from down there. Is, yeah. Because otherwise, you plow through all your soap in about two there, seconds. How much is left in here now? Uh, uh, it's still in the mountain in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to get the built-in container. Yeah, it's funny. My craftsman has that, and I've never used it. Yeah. I, I love it. It's great for doing the house and stuff. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to guess it probably needs a carburetor rebuild since uh, it's running a little rough there. And it probably needs um, all those, like, six gaskets replaced. Uh, no, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think it's probably a carb rebuild. Although, I think maybe you're right. Yeah, the intake gaskets. Yeah, because uh, Honda loves to overdo it it's on like those a, things. It's like a, like a triple decker sandwich of intake gaskets and spacers. Yep. And it comes with this handy tool for uh, cleaning out the nozzle if it gets clogged. Nice. And a tie down for the hose. Do we ever figure out how old this thing is? The, the serial number sticker's worn off. It had a uh, day code. It uh, looks like it might say. Uh, oh, it might be ending with 08. It's hard to read though. All right, so uh, pretty decent find. I swear, people in this town, friggin' stupid. Uh, anyway, still, hey, if anyone has any suggestions as to a, a plausible scenario as to how water got in the crankcase, I'd love to hear it because I can't figure out how it happened. But um, there we go. Oh, this is uh, I calculated by the way. PSI. Oh times uh, GPM equals uh, cleaning units, 5980 cleaning units. So uh, not bad.